this is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is a seven plate Aaron cell. Got a lot of email about videos on the net where it show they're using uh, two tubes and creating a lot of hydrogen out of them. And they're also using pulse units on them and varying the pulse. It looks like there's a tremendous amount of hydrogen. Of course, they don't have any measurement on it, and I'm not going to either. But we're smart enough to look and eyeball things, so what I'm going to do is put this seven plate system in here. And I've got a clear tube. This is acrylic. Acrylic is good up to about 800 degrees. That's, these are the, the ones that are on the uh, hydrogentap.com. And what I did is just put them in there. That way I don't have to make use of all the water in that tank. The reason for this is I want to show you just how much hydrogen you can get out of here, which has nothing whatsoever to do with a pulse system. Take the temperature of this. One of the things that I've noticed in some of these videos, or I should say lack of in some of these videos, is the fact that you don't know how much electrolyte there is in the water. Here I'm using, this is distilled water, which I am now putting on all my videos. That way I can make real accurate or it's easier to measure. And what I've done is I've put lye in here, which is the basic electrolyte that I'll be using from now on. You can see this is only using 10 amps. There is one thing I have noticed, and that seems to be ringing true, and that is that After you use the water once, the second time around, you get a lot more hydrogen out of it. But keeping with everything else, you not only get more hydrogen out of it, but you draw more amps. So you don't gain anything as such. You can see how much hydrogen there is there. It's filling the tube and going down. Just a moment, I'm going to shut it off restart again and you're going to see even more hydrogen. We're at 11 amps. Again, I haven't put much lye in this. I could bring this up, but just imagine how much hydrogen this will produce if I brought it up to say 30 amps. And this is only a seven plate cell. The 3L R1000 has 15 plates in it. You can see the amp meter that's to your left. The one on the far left is the voltmeter. If you look very closely, you can see now we're starting to tick a little bit. We're only using 11 amps, but it is the air in here is getting very thick, so to speak. It's only got 11 volts in the battery that I'm using also. If we brought this up to 14 volts, you are going to be seeing a lot of hydrogen. So again, there's only seven plates in this system. And now Well, you can just view it yourself here. The water temperature is only, what, 75 degrees? 
it'll go up to probably 80. One of the reasons I'm advocating using the distilled water is it's much, much easier to control.